Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today I'm going to show you how to create a document in Google Sheets that you're going to use to insert your lab data from the Density Lab, and then how to create a graph, or in this format it's called a chart. So notice that I've labeled this Density Example 2017, because that's what it is. I'm going to start in cell 1a and I'm going to paste in my data. Now, some things I want to point out. First of all, in uh, cells 1a and 1b, I've put in what the data is and the labels with the units. You need to have volume on the left and mass on the right so that we'll have our axes set up properly. Notice that I've included the units so that if things go well, the axes will be labeled because of these uh, labels that I have here in uh, row 1. Also notice that the data is just numbers. So keep your units in the top cells and then just enter the numerical data um, in order for it to graph. If it sees anything other than numbers in these cells, it won't graph. Now I'm going to add in the point 0, 0. And the reason I'm going to do that is we need this graph to go through the origin because a sample with a mass of 0 is going to have a volume of 0. Now we're set to graph. So you're going to highlight the cells and include the point 0, 0. Then we go up to Insert, and we go down to Chart, and we wait for it to make a chart. Now the default chart is going to be this kind of bar column chart. So if you come over to the um, far right, you'll see chart type column chart. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to scroll down till I see scatter chart. That's what we want. Now notice that because I put in volume for my x-axis, there's volume, and mass for my y-axis, there it is. And you'll also notice that it says mass versus volume. Now I'm going to go ahead and customize this and I'm going to change the title because we're doing three graphs and so because we're going to be graphing three metals I'm going to add in and you'll see all the way over here on the right I'm adding in a space and I'm going to say for aluminum. because this happens to be aluminum. Now you'll notice that when I wrote it over here, it automatically updated it here. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here in customizing. And if for some reason you felt the need to change the color or the font of your axes or your title, you could go ahead and do that. So here, for instance, if I wanted to make it red, I could make it red. If I wanted to change it to italics, I could make it italics. And then in order to get to the other axes, you could change for the horizontal axis and make it, I don't know, blue. And you could make the vertical axis maybe, how about hot pink? So you'll see you can customize it. The next thing we need to do is get it to plot the line. So you're going to come over here to the right again and I'm going to collapse this and I'm going to open up series. Now I want to add a trend line. Once I add the trend line, you'll notice I can scroll down. It's linear. That's good. I want it to be linear. And then I want it to show me the equation. So you'll see over here I'm saying use equation. And when I do that, now I have the equation of the line. y is equal to 2.57 times x plus 0.306. This number here is m in the format y equals mx plus b. So this number, the 2.57, is the slope of my line. So again, to recap, what I've done is I've entered my data, making certain that I didn't put any letters, that I just put numbers in each column. And then what I did was I inserted using the insert chart that gave me both the chart editor box and it also gave me a chart and the chart was a column chart then I changed that to be a scatter plot 
and then once I had the scatter plot, I added the trend line, I made sure it was linear, and then I asked it to show the equation. If you'd like to get crazy, you could also change the color of the line that is plotted. You could also, if you wanted, for a future lab, for instance, add error bars or not. So for now, this is what we're going to need to do. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is going to be how you go about inserting this into your document, which would be your lab report. So now that I'm happy with the way this graph looks, and it has a title, Mass versus Volume for Aluminum, so I know which graph this is, I have my trend line, I have my slope displayed, so now we're pretty much ready to go. So now the next step would be to go to my untitled document, which happens to be my lab report, and let's just say that this part of the lab report is where I have my graphs, and I have my class data for aluminum, which is what I'm going to insert. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Insert menu, and I'm going to scroll down to Chart, and then I can scroll down here where it says From Sheets, and now here I will see Density Example 2017. Recall that was what I named our example, so I'll double click, and there's my graph. So now all I have to do is click so that I have that blue line around it. That means that's the one I want, and then import. And there it is. And additionally, when you do it this way and it's linked to the spreadsheet, then if I had any question, I could click on your particular graph and it would take me to your spreadsheet as well. So again, you'll notice that this graph came from the spreadsheet that I had created. So now I hope that this helps you in what you need to do for the lab and obviously uh, for the lab that we're doing this week you'll be doing three metals so you'll have to repeat this process with a new sheet within Google Sheets. You'll open a new sheet each time you'll enter your data, create your graph, and you'll go back to your lab report and you'll be able to import it in to your lab. Um, again, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please come and see me in class. This is Miss Augustine signing off.